What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video, I have great news for those of you who are planning to downgrade or upgrade to 11.3.1 if you have your blobs saved. Now there is a tool available. In fact, it's a website that has been created to help you out with the downgrade process. And of course, it gives you the clear instructions that you need in order to perform the action. The toolkit has been released by these three developers in here, and it looks like this. It's a website containing all the uh, major devices in here running iOS 11 and 10 and so on, and you get to choose which device you have. For example, let's go ahead and choose iPhone SE, and it brings you to this page in here, which gives you the board config, which you need sometimes when you want to save the blobs. Then it gives you the requirements or the assets that you need to have before before starting the downgrade process. And of course, here you have the IPSW for 11.3.1, their toolkit, which is pretty much future restore and the files, the latest iTunes, nonce reboot in order to set up the nonce, and CD Impactor in order to sideload the nonce reboot IPA. So these are the assets that you need to get and they have clear links in here. Then they follow it up with the instructions on how to set the nonce. This is something very important. You cannot do this without setting the nonce. Then it goes to future restore and it gives you clear instructions on how to use future restore with your blobs in order to upgrade or downgrade or whatever you want to call it to iOS 11.3.1, even though iOS 11.3.1 hasn't been signed in weeks. So who can benefit from this toolkit in here? Well, people who saved their iOS 11.3.1 blobs, but did not upgrade in time and they're still waiting on iOS 11.2.1, iOS 11.2.6 and so on. If you want to upgrade from an iOS 11 version to 11.3.1 and you have the blobs, these are the correct instructions that you need to use. However, you should keep in mind that this toolkit doesn't support the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8, and there are some weird issues with the iPhone 10 and Future Restore, and the problem is that the Face ID will no longer work if you perform this action on the uh, iPhone 10. So do not do that on iPhone 10. Anyways, they have very, very clear instructions in here, down to the commands you need to use for Windows, the command you need to use for the macOS, where you need to place the folders, where you need to place the files inside the folders, and so on. And they even got a dedicated Discord server for those of you who have problems running these commands. So I think this is a very, very good toolkit, and it does look like it's going to help a lot of people since a lot of you are asking me constantly when I'm going to make a video on Future Restore and how to use the blobs. Well, this website makes it very simple for you. You no longer need a video because you have all the instructions tailored for your specific device. And the problem is that you can't really make a video that is for every device because my device is different. Your device may require additional files. For example, if I use an iPod Touch on my video, it doesn't require a baseband file. So I will not be showing a baseband file and you will need one if you have an iPhone and vice versa. So the video cannot be universal. And the problem is that there is no official version of TeamStar's uh, Future Restore available for Windows. It's only for Mac OS and Linux. And of course, somebody else, and that is Encounter, created a version for Windows, but of course there are differences. So my tutorial on Mac OS will not necessarily work for Windows. And this is where this website steps in. And this is why I like this website. It makes it very easy for those of you who want to restore or to downgrade to take a look on the instructions. And you have instructions for both Windows and Mac OS, which makes it very easy to perform the action safely. So let's see what their toolkit contains. And as you can see here, you have the Future Restore, which is also for Mac OS and Windows. I would assume that the Future Restore for Windows is in Connor's version and the Mac OS one is Tim Starts, and then you have the build manifest that you needed. Then you have the basement and the SEP. So you have all the files in place, you just drop your uh, blobs file and perform the command, which is great and easy. So you just have to follow the instructions in here for future restore. You copy paste the command, make sure the files are in place, and they tell you where to put the files here in the instructions. And there you go. So this is pretty much it about this toolkit. It's very, very nice indeed. So if you're still running iOS 11.2.x or iOS 11.x and you want to upgrade, then you can do so. If you're running iOS 10 and you want to upgrade to iOS 11.3.1 and you do have your blobs, it's still possible, but you need a nonce setter for the iOS 10, which of course exists. You just have to look it up. Anyways, thank you for watching. I really hope this helps. The link is in the description down below. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time. 
Peace out.